Gracias. Early in the morning, right before the break of day, I'm lying here beside you, trying to think of something to say. You're gonna have to leave soon, so I'll give you this heart of mine. It means I'm gonna miss you every time. Cause I can't get used to letting you go When the tears roll down your face Let me tell you, darling, we're gonna find a place Where we can lay low Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Guatemala for the last time. At least for now. Just arriving at the airport. Woke up at the hostel, slept great last night. Had a lovely little breakfast there. And yeah, it's like a nine hour travel day back to Orlando. Yeah, just gotta go check in, get my bag checked, and use the bathroom because my bladder is about to explode. Being stuck in Guatemala in traffic on bumpy roads with a full bladder is not ideal. But yeah, guys, headed back to the States. Crazy, crazy quick time here in Guatemala. <sighs> it's been a fun one, though. Hola. Woo! Bag checked, got my boarding passes for both flights, used the bathroom. I love so much when you get to the airport and it's, just, it's like stress-free. There was no line. I just gave her my, my passport and everything was smooth sailing. I love that. Copa Airline has been such a pleasure, actually. Two free check bags from the US to Central America. No other airline I could find offers that. So, highly recommend Copa if you're ever flying from the US to Central America. It's goodbye to the water. security now only three hours until the flight takes off so glad that you came back years already passed us by but i know i can trust you even when i can tell you a lie hmm i wonder where i'll sit getting that lunch in quick this is so good right now i'm really hungry but yeah the flight leaves in about 45 minutes now, so I'm scarfing this, then I'm headed to the gate. All right, guys, time to board the flight to Guatemala. I think it's time to pull a Steve Yallo. Let's fly. Where we can lay low, where we can get high. We can run away, we can go today, we can leave the world behind. So honey, let's go. Guys, that was crazy. Wait a second. Yeah, th this is the Panama airport. We need to get to Orlando. Should we go back up? I think so. Let's go. Where we can lay low, where we can get high, where we can run away, we can go today, we can leave the world behind. So, honey, let's go. Yo guys, welcome to Orlando. Shout out to Steve Yallo for that idea. He does that cool transition where he kind of throws you into the sky for the drone montage. If you want to go check out his channel, right up there. He's in Philippines right now doing some cool stuff. But yeah guys, Dan should be here in like 10 minutes. The dude's driving two and a half hours to get me and then driving two and a half hours back home. So I'm super grateful that I have a brother that's willing to support me like that. It's so amazing. I have a funny story. So these shorts right here, my only pair of shorts I was bringing on this trip that have a button. And anyways, the day I was leaving, I noticed the button was coming off. I was like, oh great, the day I go, my shorts are falling apart. 
Well, I didn't think anything of it the rest of the time I was there. Basically, the last day of the trip, it finally comes off. So, it held up the entire three weeks. So these shorts deserve a huge shout out. There's some used Patagonia shorts that I bought like a long time ago. And yeah, let's find Dan and my niece Attica. Target spotted. There we are. Yo! What's up, what up? <laughs> hey Attica. Sleeper. Quick. What up? I, can, I got it, man. I got it. What up, dude? How's it going, dude? Oh, thanks so much for the ride, man. <laughs> so big with the back. Yeah, no crap. <laughs> Alrighty. Dan drove two and a half hours to get me. That's one way, guys. That's a five hour round trip to pick up the little bro from the airport. I appreciate it, man. That's twice. He drove me here, too. You guys remember. Hi, Attica. Hi. Guess what? I got your gift. Wait, what? I got your gift. Wait, what? Should I grab it right now, quick? So you can have it for the drive home? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Time to give Attica a gift. Why not just give it to her now? At the airport, where people are trying to get picked up. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Your very own Guatemalan scarf. Yes. There you go. Yes, yes. <laughs> How does it feel? It's awesome, it's really small. It's huge. Small. It'll cover your entire body. Yes. <laughs> now you can sleep with it on the ride home. Thank you. Good to see ya. <laughs> okay, two and a half hours till Jacksonville. Wish us a safe journey and we'll catch up with you guys back in Jacksonville. You! You! That was super weird. Okay guys, at this point in the video, you're probably wondering what the hell is going on. <laughs> I don't know what that was before this, I just really felt like doing it, I thought it was funny. Hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, we are not in Jacksonville right now. We are actually up in South Dakota, and if you can't tell by my beard, it's actually about eight months later. After getting back to Jacksonville, I wanted to just wait to film this outro until I actually edited the video. And you know, I ended up not totally getting around to the videos as quickly as I would have liked to, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. There's ups and downs here on YouTube, and I tend to go through phases where I manage to get out a bunch of videos in a row, and then I go months without uploading which isn't good for this platform at all, and it isn't good for you guys, the Pikeys, my audience as well, because since I really started uploading this channel back in my Southeast Asia series, a lot of my audience from that time, and audience that I gained when I was in Chile, have dropped off the map, Like I, and I completely understand I haven't been consistent, and that is something I want to change on the channel. I've never given up on my YouTube channel, my passion for it, I absolutely love it and I want to start uploading once a week. I've uploaded the last couple Wednesdays, and I'm actually pushing this one until Saturday, because I think Saturday is a better upload day in general. So, gonna stick to Saturdays. I'm gonna start doing the live premieres pretty much every time, I think. Even if no one shows up, I'm gonna do it, because I think it's pretty cool. And I think even if one person shows up and hangs out, that's a pretty fun experience. So what's been going on with me, guys? That last video, the last day in Guatemala going back to Orlando was in March, the middle of March, and it is now November. So I was in Jacksonville until the end of June, came back up to South Dakota, Brandon, the city I'm from, living at my mom's place right now. I'm officially the 29 year old living in the basement, but I'm totally cool with it because I've got some plans, guys. So right now I'm back working at the Holiday Inn Express here. I've been working here on and off for about nine years, and I honestly really enjoy that job. It's been sweet for coming back to in between trips, 
getting sweet hotel discounts. When I was in Amsterdam recently, I stayed in downtown Amsterdam, right in the city for 45 US dollars a night. It was crazy. But basically, I'm just working right now, trying to save up as much money as I can. I wanna buy a van, guys. I wanna buy a cargo van, convert it into a mobile home. I feel it, I feel the pull from within, like I absolutely need and want to do this. The thing is, it's gonna take some time to save up the money to buy the van, buy all the materials for the conversion, and actually convert it. I'm really hoping to have it done by the end of May 2019 at the absolute latest, but I guess we'll see. The travel bug might hit me in the springtime and I might just have to go abroad again. I really, really wanna to get to the Philippines, to Indonesia, back to Southeast Asia in general. I absolutely loved it there and I've missed it ever since I've left. So once I start looking in the van, you guys can bet that I will be documenting that and sharing that adventure with you when it comes to purchasing it, converting it, and then taking it on all these crazy adventures, but also just having it as a home base, a security back home. Like, when I was abroad for over a year, the financial struggle actually had quite a bit of weight to it, and Basically, I realized I need to be a little bit more financially secure in the future, and having a home on wheels, a place to come back to when I've been traveling abroad, spent all my money, and then basically have to scrape whatever I have left to get home, and then I can build back up from there. But that kind of leads into another adventure I've been going on, is that I've actually started a videography company with my brother Dan. It's called Pike Productions, and we are just really fresh Based out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, we've gotten a few gigs so far. We filmed a wedding in August. We're trying to basically do whatever we can at the moment. We just want to do video work. It's both of our passions and we just love working with people and getting to be creative as much as we can. And I'm really excited to see where that will lead in the future and what that will bring. But another thing I'm really just hoping to have is some financial security and to be able to build a lifestyle that allows me to travel like three, four months a year, if not more, and then still be able to save up money when I'm back home and continue doing something I'm actually passionate about. So that's another thing I'm absolutely stoked to be pursuing. Another thing, guys, like I just mentioned, I was recently in Amsterdam. I was actually over in the Netherlands for two weeks in the beginning of October. I don't know if you remember Laura from the Guatemala videos, but I actually went over and stayed with her for two weeks we went into Germany for a couple days, we explored Dutch cities, rode bikes, hung out with friends, had beers, explored castles, got to go to the Van Gogh Museum and the Anne Frank House. I made like five vlogs, guys, and those are what are coming next over the next five weeks. I'm really, really excited to share them with you, and I really hope you guys tune in to see how that was, because I had been having an itch to go to Europe, and it was just such an amazing setup and getting to go and spend time with Laura was really sweet and getting to meet her friends. Overall, it was really magical and yeah, I'm excited to put those videos together and I think I might try a new editing approach with them as... Random noises in the basement. <sighs> and I sleep down here. And I actually think I'm gonna try a new editing approach to these videos, guys. More of a sit-down narrative like this, oh my god, a water pump has been on for 15 fucking minutes. Screw it, I'm filming with it, whatever. <laughs> god help me. But yeah, I wanna try a new editing approach to these videos. One where there's more of a sit-down narrative like this, where I kind of talk about my experiences and then show you firsthand through the vlog. And yeah, I just, Lost LeBlanc does it. I think it's super dope format and I really want to give it a try. So let's see how that goes. Hope you guys like it. And last but not least, lately I have been on a bit of a new health and fitness journey. I've always wanted to be in top shape, guys. I've always wanted to get to the physique that I know I'm capable of. I've got pretty good natural genes when it comes to build and muscle mass. I've gotten asked a lot throughout my life, like, what do I do lifting weights and all that? And I've never lifted a weight for the most part in my life. I've never had a serious lifting routine. And yeah, 
Lately I've implemented something called intermittent fasting into my diet. I'm actually doing 20 hours fasting, 4 hour eating window every single day. And I'm pretty new to it, but I've already gotten quite used to it and I'm really enjoying it and it just feels really good for me. And I want to share that adventure with you. I took some before photos and took some measurements and I think I'm going to document this journey and give you guys updates along the way. Right now I'm currently about 235 pounds. Ideally, I'd like to be below 200. I think in the 190 to 200 range would fit me really well. And if I actually wanted to get more of that chiseled build going on, probably a little under 190. I'm six foot, I don't know, maybe that would be too much at that point. But the weight loss in the physique isn't even the main reason I want to implement this diet into my life. I've been a vegetarian now for almost two years. I've realized I really like the feeling it gives me, like the sense of control and the discipline I have for it. It's super easy because I really believe in why I do it for environmental reasons for the most part, but I just feel really good about it. If everything else in my life is going to shit, at least I have that thing in control, and I want to do that in other areas of my life as well, and I think if I can start with my overall diet in general, if I can really control that, and limit the amount of calories I take and basically just make better choices there. I think I'll be really proud of myself and I'll feel really good about that and I'll be able to apply that discipline to basically every other part of my life. So I think starting with my diet is actually a major key to improving all aspects of my life. So what do you guys think? Would you like me to share some of that adventure with you? I actually think this channel in general might just turn more into a lifestyle channel for myself. I, I'm always going to make travel videos and travel vlogs, but I want to share other things with you guys as well. I want to share the videography business, the van conversion, which of course is travel, so that kind of makes sense. But my my health journey, I want to share it all, and I think I just want to make videos more often. I'm not always going to be able to be out traveling all the time at this point, especially when I'm really trying to save up and get my van, get my home base and I kind of just need to stay parked for a while so I'm gonna make videos here who knows what trips will be coming up Laura is actually coming here at the end of the year for a couple weeks as well so we'll probably go up to the cities we might go out west in South Dakota the Black Hills I'll definitely film some vlogs there as well so there's plenty of com content I have in mind guys and I'm really excited to start filming new stuff and sharing it all with you guys but the main big thing is I'm going to be uploading once a week on Saturdays. You guys can count on that. This is another aspect of my life where I'm going to be applying discipline and sticking to it. Even if the videos are shit and no one's watching, I'm going to do it and I'm going to try to improve and I'm going to try to take the professional techniques I'm learning for from my videography company and apply them to my vlogs as well. So. Ah, this was supposed to be a really quick wrap up on the video, so I'm sorry it stretched on this long, but I wanted to fill you guys in, and I hope you like what you hear. So I'll catch you guys back here again next week on Saturday, this time from the Netherlands. I'm super stoked to share this adventure with you guys, and thank you so much for sticking by me, you stupid water pump. It stopped. It stopped. The video's over. Goodbye. Peace, Pikeys. You.